on a wet, dark August evening in 1879, the villagers of a small hamlet called Knock in the county of Mayo, Ireland, experienced something out of the ordinary. Word spread throughout the village that something extraordinary was happening at the church, and so they hurried to the windswept gable where they wit witnessed a heavenly vision surrounded in a brilliant white light. Men, women and children gathered in prayer at the gable end of the parish church. The witnesses clearly saw the Blessed Virgin Mary dressed in white robes, her hands and eyes turned towards heaven in prayer. On her head was a gold crown, and where the crown fitted the brow, a single golden rose. On her right, bowed respectively towards her, was Saint Joseph. He appeared older, his beard and hair were grey, and like Our Lady, he was barefoot. To Our Lady's left stood John the Evangelist, vested as a bishop, wearing a small mitre. He held an open book in his left hand, and in its pages the lines and letters could clearly be seen. He appeared to be preaching, but no voice was heard. He stood so that his back was neither turned to the Virgin or to the Lamb that stood upon the simple plain altar, and behind the altar was a cross. The witnesses watched and prayed for over two hours, and though they were wet, they noticed that no rain fell upon the apparition or on the gable end of the church. Now many people have reflected on the symbolism of this apparition. Those who saw it were immediately drawn to Our Lady's presence, a reflection of the deep Marian devotion of all those present. And for many years after, it was the presence of Our Lady that people were instinctively drawn to. Devotion to Saint Joseph has always emphasized his role as the protector of the Holy Family, and he appears at Knock as a secure, gentle presence beside his wife, head bowed reverently towards her, acknowledging and reminding us of her unique place in the history of the Church. Saint John the Evangelist stands between Our Lady and the altar and the Lamb, it is his gospel that refers to Jesus as the Lamb of God. Unique to the apparition is the presence of the Lamb of God upon the altar, a visual presentation of the gift and mystery of the Eucharist. This central element is not to be found in any other recognized Marian apparition throughout the world. Knock Shrine is honoured to have been officially recognised as an international Eucharistic and Marian Shrine by Pope Francis through the Pontifical Council for New Evangelization. When you cross the threshold and enter Knock Shrine, you leave behind the worry and cares of a troubled world and join with your fellow visitors on a journey. Each person who comes to knock has their own reason for making the journey, however long or short, to experience a unique and tranquil atmosphere. Knock is a reminder of the faith that has been passed down through the generations. Some come searching for an answers and consolation, others to reflect and to find peace. One thing that is guaranteed is that you will leave Knock Shrine feeling refreshed and renewed. There are no strangers here, only fellow pilgrims. Thank you for listening. God bless you all.